Hello dear viewers, it is the first episode uh, of my series and uh, I think that I need to make a small introduction of what it is and what it should be about. So it should be a series uh, about me traveling or traveling on this bicycle around Gironde, which is department on, t on southwest of uh, France and uh, filming for you some interesting things, maybe some beautiful things like poppy flowers here and telling some details about this I live in Bordeaux and that is why I am I decided to make this introduction near vineyard because Bordeaux is famous for wines you can see some chateau on the background and today we are going to saint metard d'Angeal I will talk about it later I think it is the end of my introduction. I think this video can be interested for you if you are interested in uh, France, in uh, Bordeaux, in Gironde or in just in cycling. So please continue watching and then decide if it is interesting for you or not. Now we are very close to saint -Med medard angel which is the town that we are going to see today. And this means uh, saint metard on gel gel is the river that uh, passes by this city, or crosses this city, this town, sorry. Uh, and uh, saint metard is uh, actually was a bishop of uh, Soissons, it is a city on, on the north of France, in uh, the 6th century he was alive and uh, working as a bishop. Uh, but surprisingly he, he, he was most popular in the southwest of France, so here, uh, not in the north of France. It was about the name, where it came from, and uh, about the city itself. It, it's not very, it is not a city actually, it is a town and population is about uh, uh, 3000 people so not very big, not very small town sorry, camera was not horizontal um, and interestingly uh, the, in this town there are several organizations that are involved uh, in nuclear missiles production so there are some research, some productions of par some parts and uh, also there are lots of um, several there are several um, water mills which we are going to visit and interestingly that uh, these mills were producing not only flour for cooking but also uh, some of them produced gunpowder like uh, 500 years ago so you see it's kind of uh, main main uh, occupation of the city, of the town uh, to produce uh, either gunpowder or uh, nuclear missiles so also the, in this uh, town <coughs> and around it there are a lot of uh, vineyards it is uh, close to Bordeaux so and they produce uh, wine Bordeaux as well and actually it is uh, a member of uh, urban community of Bordeaux so it may be considered as part of Bordeaux and now we are in uh, woods of Deschets Bois du Deschets in French and uh, you can see it's quite wild forest even it is like between two towns and I hope you hear very nice bird singing at least I enjoy it um, and now we will go to see something interesting
video would be better if I had action camera. With regular camera it is not very easy to film and go, but I'm trying my best. So we are still in Goa du Deshe. This road is made, not made, but is used for running, not for cars. So conditions is not ideal for cycling, especially for cycling and filming at the same moment. But I am not a BBC channel, so. I think I can allow some quality of video. Problem? Oh, sorry, two problem probably. Okay. I'm a bit lost after crossing these woods along the river. I came to some village. I hope it is the town that I'm looking for, but I'm not sure at all. We'll see. Those views, ladies and gentlemen. I came to the place where I have already been. I came from there, from this bicycle line. And now I'm now I'm here again. Didn't expect that. Sorry, didn't expect that. But at least now I know where am I now where I am. So I will continue. See you. I'm still no no knowing <laughs> where I am, but still I can tell you that. Uh, I've been near this building from other si side of the fence, but those time I didn't know where uh, I were, where I was. So it is good news that I know, but not very good that I'm going around the same place. Uh, actually, in this place uh, they produce potable water, and they supply about 20% uh, of potable water of Bardo. Uh, produced here so it is one interesting fact about this place and now I'm going back to see other things at last I'm somewhere where I want to be and it is uh, Chateau de Gaillac 
in French and in English it would be probably Castle of Gaillac. <coughs> you can see kind of square castle with four towers with some yard uh, inside and from three sides it's surrounded by ditch so by water to protect from enemies I guess it was uh, first time mentioned in documents in uh, 1289 so it is really old uh, no sorry Ah yes, yes, exactly the same at 1289. Uh, uh, but uh, this building was rebuilt after a hundred years war, so it means after um, 1453. It is um, one of the few castles of this type remaining in Bordeaux region. So f castles uh, like uh, really for kind of protection with the strong walls and towers are not many of them are remaining and unfortunately now it is kind of private property and we cannot see it closer I tried uh, there is open uh, gates from other side but it looks like someone living here and probably wouldn't like if we will stop him or her or they them so that's all that I can show you about this. So let's go for the next side scene. A bit more of footage from other side. You can see the goose or the duck. Or you cannot. And now we are near Moulin de Gaillac or Mill of Gaillac. So what a mill as you can see. It is first mentioned in the same year as the Chateau de Gaillac, uh, 1289. It is not operating now as a mill, but um, its uh, wheels are still in use to regulate the river level. It was modified uh, in uh, 18th century and uh, one more floor of the building uh, was built up uh, in 19th century and for me it looks quite interesting and even impressive a very old building building on the river not too much I can tell about it let's go further now I'm planning to do a small ride along the river Jal, which is in the name of the town. And uh, here you can see the fish that live uh, in this river. Sorry, I don't know the names in English. You can Google it. And uh, I can tell you that uh, this river is not very big. It is only 30 kilometers long and uh, it goes into river Garon, which is a big river which passes Bordeaux. This is funny fish. L'Emploi de Planer. No, de Plané. I found the map of the river, if it is interesting for someone, for some one of you. So, now we are in uh, here. Please focus. Saint Metar Anjal. And So 
now in the center you can see Moulin de Gaillac, no? Yes. And uh, we will visit uh, this one in the center. Moulin de Copain. Mill of Copain. No, Copain. Okay, see, there is a lot of towns along this river. Maybe I will visit several of them in the next some more of river for you. This side. This side. I like this another side where trees are growing. Right. Quite beautiful place. close to the water. I think it looks beautiful. Goes quite quickly. Looks very nat natural. Unfortunately I don't see any fish. Don't know why. She has a big family, I guess. are interested in this town itself so maybe you would like to know that not all people live in castles and uh, water mills so most of them are living in this like kind of house with some gardens I think as many as in other places in Europe at least in France people live like this This is the square of Republic and on the other side we have the fence of Chateau de Bourdieu and it is not the fence but Chateau de Bourdieu is officially in the list of historic monuments now it is private property it is a chateau with a big park it was built in 1788 quite old. If you know French you can read this, some information about uh, this chateau. So 
some more information here. But you see it's quite well hidden. But I think we will have opportunity to see itself, yes. Doesn't look that someone lives here, but it's very, very hidden. Don't want even that people see it. Maybe the park is open, I don't know. I will try to see. I think it is a place where a mayor of. Uh, yes, a uh, mayor of. Uh, this town works. It's written Hotel de Ville. So you quite old building. The bus is passing. So you can see Liberté, Galité, Fraternité. Symbols of French Republic. Not very clear. But uh, this is the church. Church uh, Saint Metach. Metach. It was no, oh sorry, not a good zoom. It was known uh, since uh, 11th century, but it was heavily reconstructed in the 15th and 19th century. Uh, near, near the walls of this church, uh, there are Meridian Tam. Tums uh, of sixth uh, and seventh century, so uh, so it's evidence that uh, this place was uh, has has had a religious uh, use uh, since uh, more than uh, 1,030 years ago. And I think uh, I will go to see it from other side before talking about the church small movie about La Salamandre here we see the main entrance into the church I would say quite beautiful and quite classic And one more side of the church, not very interesting, but to have full picture, let's see it. A bit of beautiful garden, kind of corner between buildings, not easy to find, but it's very, very beautiful. I don't know how it will look like in, on the video. But by my eyes I can see it's quite interesting, lots of different plants, very green grass. Even small pond is here. Flowers.
oak tree. Definitely no fish in the pond. Imagine there are some rubbish. Very beautiful, I think. These flower leaves. Carpet of flower leaves. But definitely, my bicycle is the most beautiful thing here. I almost have forgotten about park of Chateau de Bordieu but finally I found the entrance it looks like looks like more forest rather than park and I hope I'm not breaking any rules by being here I would like to see this chateau itself from other side I don't know yet if it is possible or not But here it is beautiful as well, lots of oaks Birds. Okay, switching off the camera for for now. Not so very easy to handle. Now this, now I see that probably I am breaking the rules. It's written that private property and uh, access is uh, prohibited but I don't know I can go this direction or this uh, track as well so I will try to see something through the for me it is very difficult to call a park a place where trees <laughs> like this So probably this old park. I crossed the park and came out by this track. Fortunately, I didn't see the chateau from either side. But here, for me, it is a funny sign. It is private property. It's okay. And below is that like hunting is prohibited. So that good to know that nobody could hunt me when I was crossing it. And it's good that I didn't try to hide, hunt anybody So, because it's prohibited So let's go further I took a seat to have a rest after crossing those private property And also I can film for you some flowers Once again, Hotel de Ville, the church of Saint Merdach. Very beautiful sky. Nice down here to go, now I need to pedal. So I am filming some video. Camera. 
cyclist with an unusual bicycle. On the left side there is a forest and it is very well protected. You see this zone of protection prohibited to cause there. probably something nuclear development is going there. But unfortunately somewhere there to the left uh, there is a uh, ruins of ancient castle I would like to see it but I think it is not available so we will just know that it is somewhere there so we can know that it is Safran here and the Roxel so they are doing some probably nuclear research so we go backwards uh, yeah. now I'm taking a piece of nice bicycle line but you need to do film so we see ancient train I have cruise control on my pleasure bike so I can film for you Quite nice uh, railways from nowhere to nowhere still from those uh, a park of Chateau de Bordeaux de Bordeaux I have this piece of leaves uh, on my fender oh my god yeah I've, I've read somewhere that like in this town actually lots of lots of territory are like this surrounded by fence and you cannot go in probably because of this nuclear missile production so if you're a tourist here you either cannot go there because of private property or because of nuclear missiles not very good but if you can if you want adventures maybe you can try to to see both to enter private property and these protective areas. Okay, there is the end of cycling line for me. I will go by street further. So, switching off the camera. The sparrow is keeping something in its mouth to build a nest. Quite cute and quite fast. I thought I knew, where I knew where I'm going, but no, I came to the same place from other side. It's a dead end, so I'll go by other way. I'm going to film myself in the rearview mirror. But luckily, not in the mirror of toilet. Again, I'm a bit lost, but just to demonstrate you what I was to demonstrate to you what I was talking about. You see Airbus DC is here. So they deal with missiles as well. And uh, there you can see the uh, road is closed after one kilometer. Kilometer. Because of uh, military place. It's everywhere here. And some water tower is there. I will try to go to the direction. Let me share with you some of my progress. Thanks to the map on the bus stop, I found out that I'm. I cannot show you. That 
time here, à la poudrier. And I was going to here. I already passed this place without noticing, so I need to go back and see. But it took me about 15 minutes to understand to find this bus stop. Because uh, on my map I don't have this piece of, of place. Okay, let's go. But actually I started to film not not because uh, of the airplane, quite old, but to show you the sign of Saint Medard de Angel to say that uh, probably it wasn't a good idea to leave the town when I was looking something inside the town I think that something that I was looking is here but I didn't find it yet we'll see now we have one more water mill the last one it's called uh, Molan de Copain no, the Copian uh, mill of Copin, Cop of uh, Copian. Um, it's mentioned first in documents in uh, 1593. It doesn't work as a mill nowadays. I think that uh, no, not. I think I, I read in, in the Wikipedia that uh, not in Wikipedia somewhere else that it was used uh, by children to jump from the roof into the water. But now I cannot even see much. All surrounded by fans, no good way to, to come to see. So it is quite disappointing. Old car there. Arena 4, I guess. Okay, and I think that's it. Maybe I will do some conclusion later. But I think not much more to see here. So, funny thing showing that there is something about this mill de Copian. But on the picture there is windmill, not water mill. Finally, I found the way to the river. Not far from the mill. Not sure if it is property private private property because I saw several signs like saying that but maybe this place exactly is not so I can be here river is still very beautiful for me at least still I don't see fish in it and I will go a bit further by this wonderful trek along the river Maybe I'll find something interesting. Not a fish, but some wildlife in this river at least found. Baby frogs. Looks like it's guarded by dog. There I can see a bit of a bit of water mill. But on video it's difficult to show behind these bushes. So yes, it is very difficult to see something about this mill. So let's go back home. I was thinking to finish my video near the sign of the town, but I'm not sure that I will find it because I already see the sign of another one. Where it is? Yes, but there is no sign like finishing of Saint Medard. So I'm finishing here near this uh, monument with hand in a ball I have no idea what it is and my camera doesn't want to show us what it is
so something about men and science. Um, so, as I said, it is the end of the video, so thank you for watching. Actually, I have no idea. I have no idea what it will be after I do montage, if I do. Maybe I will not do, maybe I will upload everything as it is. But you already know what it works for you. If you like it, you can subscribe to see next video about other village or town. Or you can show it to your friend. I will be grateful for you. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.